Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read The Night Box. It's by Louise Gregg and Ashling Lindsay. This is a nice story for bedtime, so if you're about to go to bed, this is a good story for you. The Night Box. Day is yawning. Quiet settles in the trees. The birds fold their wings. The singing stops. Yellow sinks behind the rooftops. A little boy watches the last strips of light drop down onto long shadows. Plop. But what is he holding? Is it a key? It's time for bed, Max, his mother calls softly. Day slips out of the leaves, out of the pond, out of the pink rose and the blue ball. Max waves goodbye. A fox uncurls, blinks, sniffs, thinks. Is Day still here? But Day is sleepy. The milk white daisies droop and close, a bank of tiny ghosts. Two eyes, two ears, two wings wait. Can you see who's waiting? Why do you think he's waiting? As day inches like a snail around the clock, tick tock, tick tock. In the kitchen, the spoons stop clinking. Good night, they wink to the kettle. Everything waits. The long window waits for the heavy drapes. The bare wall waits for a shadow. A bed waits for a boy. A lock waits for a key. Here is Max's mother with milk and a song. She kisses him. She kisses the bear. Then she is gone. Look, among the toys, what peeps out? Not a rabbit, not a whistle, not a drum. A box of midnight blue. The night box is waiting too. Max smiles, for he knows it is time and the waiting is done. Gently, he turns the key in the night box. Click, and another, click. Up comes the lid, whoosh. Day slips inside as night sweeps out. Darkness tumbles into the air. It dances and whirls around the room. It goes under the bed, under the chair, everywhere. Hello, night, Max laughs. Night is mischievous. It chases blue, white, pink, and green away. Max presses his ear to the darkness. Night turns tiny sounds up loud. Just a plink, that's all. Just a drip, not a waterfall. Just a tap on the window pane. Just a little branch as gentle as rain, nothing more. Just the tinkle of a bell, then a purr. Not a lion, it's a kitten. Max holds on tight as darkness swirls and spills like ink into the world. Night is huge. It can hold a house and a pond and a forest, a mountain and a whale, even an ocean too. Night soars, streams, stretches up to the sky like a kite. And suddenly, a thousand stars sparkle and fizz, shine and spin. This way, they say to a swan, where's she going? She beats her strong white wings and honks one word, home. Night is gentle. It floats down to the ground like a feather. It covers a fawn asleep with her mother. Night is brave. Leave them in peace, night warns. Night shakes itself into the trees. Come badger. Come mole, come owl, come fox, let's play. And out of the shadows, they snout and snuffle, leap and swoop. Night 
Night gives a moon to a pond and a mole to a goose. Now a rose has a fox and a kitten, she has the milk. Everything has something in the dark. The branch has an owl and the wall has a tree and Max has a bear and a soft warm bed. Night is kind. Night stays in Max's room, silent and strong all night long, to hold in its arms a bear and a boy. But night gets sleepy too. Good night, me, it sighs to itself. My job is done, it's time to return. And when night falls asleep, Max opens the box and whoosh, Night slips inside as day sweeps out. Day breathes into the leaves. Quiet flies out of the trees. Yellow rises from the rooftops and a new song begins. And that's the end. I hope you liked this book and if you do, you can like and subscribe to see more stories like this. All right, good night, Carly.